was headed. Back in the Bay Area now, BART facing criticism tonight for keeping information from the public about recent crimes. IB Chavasquez went straight to the police chief for an explanation on this. Joe? Veronica, I also spoke with a board member who said he's embarrassed at the way the transit agency has been handling public information. We are probably the keystone cops of the Freedom of Information Act. BART board director Bevan Dufty says he's disappointed in how his transit agency is releasing information on crimes to the public. I mean, we are just bumping into each other with different versions and stories. In the public version of the story, a BART spokesman continues to insist that video of an incident last month where dozens of young people attacked passengers cannot be shown to the public because the attackers are juveniles and won't release more information on other recent mob robberies because that doesn't help police. And the information that we released, it depends on the circumstances of the investigation and whether, say, releasing a video actually serves a good of trying to solve a crime. But KPIX5 has obtained an internal memo from BART's assistant general manager that tells a different story, indicating BART is not going to put out a press release on a recent group attack because it was a petty crime, and talking about it would make BART look crime ridden, and also it would unfairly affect and characterize writers of color, leading to sweeping generalizations in media reports. BART's recently appointed police chief says his agency is actually telling the public more with a new system called CrimeMapping.com that shows every crime in a particular geographical area. But critics say it's confusing and provides very little information about what actually happens on the BART system. Are you it, committed it, to transparency? Because all these things seem like they're less transparent. Yeah, no, I, I mean, I have no control what, what others might, might have told you or emails that you receive. But as the police chief, yes, I'm committed to transparency. And actually, the... The crime mapping has more information on it than the previous logs did. I went on it today and I saw a zillion icons in the BART region. I had no idea where to start. Board member Dufty wants BART police to go back to a more detailed public reporting log that it recently stopped sending out to reporters. We don't have to roll everything back. You can leave crimemapping.com up there, but let's go back and provide this report. Dufty says he wants maximum transparency. And by the way, a police citizen review board met tonight, and uh, they asked the chief for more information about the subject. They're going to put it on the next meeting's agenda. Veronica? Yeah. All right, Joe, we appreciate that update. And that's going to lead us to tonight's Night Beat Twitter question.